Okay, so I'm heading out of Disneyland now. And, I'm, and I might be done with Disneyland for the day, but I'm not done here yet. There's one area in particular that I'd like to visit, and that is Pixar Pier. My goodness, the area itself is open, although there are a few things that are missing, like for example, the uh, Luxo Jr. animatronic that was supposed to be up there. Um, but they did say that it's coming, I just don't know when though. Oh man, am I excited for this. This is the first time I'm, I'm seeing Pixar Pier, so this is basically history in the making for me right now. So, I heard something about Lamplight Lounge apparently. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. And, no, no, wait, that's the Lamplight Lounge. But the cool thing I like is that it's got a bunch of Pixar characters in, these, in this awning right here. Man, how come I can't do that in RCT3 or Minecraft? They got everything Pixar here for some reason. <laughs> there are a few things that are missing, like for example, um, Jesse's critter hair cell over there. And I will get shots of the of the um, of the Incredicoaster for you, but I'm not riding it. No. The boardwalk is different too. There's Nicknacks, which is the uh, Pixar short that I never watched. <laughs> There's the ador adorable snowman's frosted treats. I guess it's like some sort of ice cream shop. And then the adventure is down there, which is a reference to Up, one of my favorite movies ever. That is so cool. I love that. There's more stuff themed to Pixar down here. But what I'm interested in is this. So let me take a look at this. Anything? I'm waiting for it. Okay, is it just gonna take its sweet time? Look at that, there's two of them back there. It's getting ready, give it a second, hang on. I am going to be checking out the other stuff at, um, down the boardwalk, but give me a sec, I want to see this. Five, four, three, two, one, go! No way am I doing that. They got Finding Dory over there, and there's Coco, the new one that I haven't seen yet. And there's the Incredicoaster right there in the loading area, which is different. Um, just one last one, I can't help it. I saw a duck for Oh, there it is. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I'm sure I'm gonna see it go through that loop in a second. I knew it. Oh, look at that loading area. They said that this area really pops. I might do a ride through with the Incredicoaster soon, I'm not sure. Wow. This whole area is different. And they got everything from Pixar. Oh, look at that shot. That is gorgeous. I really like the art that they did. There's Jesse's Critter, Critter Carousel right there, not scheduled to open until 2019. Yep, that happened. <laughs> Just so you know, everything is a lot larger than it looks. And Toy Story Midway Mania has not been affected at all. Oh, and there's Poultry Pals, which is I saw in that um, short um, from Toy Story, uh, Small Fry. Those shorts were awesome back in, back then. Doesn't look like there's a much like there's much going on down here. I should be seeing it any second now. Oh, that is terrifying right there. I 
wonder if I can find Nick and Judy up the, over there. They're usually over there somewhere. And they say that the Ferris wheel has been changed from Mickey's Fun Wheel to the Pixar Pal Around, which I'm... No offense. Here he comes. Oh, that is fast. I can see roller coaster cars everywhere. Here he comes. Wow. So if we continue further down this way, we'll eventually come to the boardwalk, which I hear is where most of the change is. Except for the Incredicoaster itself. So let's see. Wait time for Toy Story Mania is 60 minutes. No change there. Wait a minute. 60 minutes? All kinds of stuff. My goodness. Oh, and this I hear is new. Anger. Oh, angry dogs. <laughs> I love that. And there's a bunch of Pixar short themed boardwalk games. Like, let's see, what's this one? Wally Space Race, Heimlich's Candy Corn something. I didn't see it. Oh, I got nothing. And the. And the fun wheel is still causing terror. Fresh baked, if you're listening, this is where he, this is where terror is. Right there is Bullseye Stallion Stampede. And this right here is new. It's a uh, Pixar Promenade, which I guess is where they play Pixar songs. Swinging gondola, 60 minutes. What? Since when has there been a wait time that long? So I guess they said that over here is going to be where where a new Inside Out themed attraction is and you can tell because of the because of the theming that they got. Hey, how's the ride? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go back down the boardwalk to see if I can get one of those cookies they were talking about. Now you know me. Um, you should know me by now. Anything that has chocolate in it, I'm, I literally will bow down to. <laughs> anyway, down here is um, the Silly Symphony Swings, named after the band. Which is named after the band concert, which is an old Silly Symphony cartoon. Um, link to that in the description. So far down there is is Paradise Gardens, which hasn't changed at all, but the pier itself is where it's changed. I'm gonna go get myself a cookie. <laughs> oh, and this is new. Um, Senor Buzz's churros. <laughs> um, I guess that means Sir Buzz's churros in Mexican or Spanish. Anyway, I definitely like how it uses the different colors because it definitely pops. Um, way more than it did before but I'm still not sure how I feel about it though like my overall feelings toward um oh, look at that 2019 wow anyway um, I'm not sure how I feel about this area yet mostly because it's really brand new and so I'm still wondering about my overall feelings toward it but they're kind of mixed right now, so I'm sorry if any of you guys are offended by that, but I'm not sure how I feel about this area yet. I mean, I like how, I mean, I like how it pops, but I don't like how it, but I miss Paradise Pier overall. But I'll let you guys know about my thoughts later. Okay, so this is new. I've definitely never seen that before. And there's the Incredicoaster right there. And there's the new cookie stand. So I'm back from Pixar Pier and I'm gonna get a shot later. Um, and there were these, and while I was at Disneyland earlier getting onto Tom Sawyer's Island, I shared some facts with these nice, with these nice guys that I met. Um, and the odds 
were amazing. I actually saw them again while I was getting my cookie, and they are subscribers now. So thank you all so much for subscribing if you guys are watching. Um, and while I was there getting my cookie, I got this. Look at how big this thing is. It's almost the size of my hand. I'm going to scarf it down. So my advice to you guys, if you get one of these, it can easily feed two people. Me, I'm a tiny little, little guy, but at least I got this nice view to, to look forward to. Okay guys, so you know those people that I told you about that I met and that I met while I was waiting in line to get that monster of a cookie? Well, they, well, they found me. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? <laughs> anyway, so you guys are going to be internet famous to 2,500 people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to hear. I like it. I think I'm going to reach 2,600 by the end of the month. <laughs> oh my god, it's And I have no idea where... Right. Like and subscribe, you know? <laughs> anyway, these are all... Smash that! Uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, It was nice to meet you guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Have a nice night. You See what I mean by, by everyone knows me? <laughs>